Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install and set up a free control panel called Webmin and uh, Virtual Min. Webmin and Virtual Min come together. Uh, Webmin is on more on the server side and the Virtual Min is more on the application side. So there are two ways you can install uh, Webmin and uh, virtual mean uh, first if you don't have uh, a Contabo account uh, you should go to uh, select VPS and here under image you can choose apps and panels and scroll down you can choose women so I'll be using this one and absolutely it's free and once you're done signing up with Contabo uh, the Contabo usually set up your VPS more or less uh, 3 hours so if you don't know how to buy a VPS on Contabo so just go here for well, first uh your term length uh you can choose from one month to one month and of course all months you, you can see from a setup fee so region you can choose from the europe united states and asia as well as australia and of course i'll be choosing nvme because it is much faster but if you are prefer bigger size just go to uh, the one gigabyte of SSD and of course the image should be women and I'll, I'm choosing 22.04 because, because it is the latest LTS and of course this is very important you should save this on your computer and store it in a safe place because we will be using this to log into our women and networking i'll just leave this as, is, as well as add-on so you can just click next and just uh fill in your personal details here once you're done you'll be taken out to payment method and once you pay the contab uh, the server uh, contab will send you the login details and your server will be set up and so the second uh, way to install um, women and virtual mini is if you already have on table and you want to install women but you don't know how to install women because you have an existing um, application installed on your Contabo. So first we need to log into our Contabo. Okay, just log in. So the login password will be sent to you uh, to your email. So uh, first go to VPS control and the under the reinstall just click this one and here you can choose uh, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS or um, an operating system that is compatible compatible with virtual mean and women so just the generate password here this one and just choose women so you can just install here and wait for a few minutes and your women and virtual men will be installed so next uh, we will access our women so to do that uh, just copy your server here and paste it here then use port 10,000 
and just click advanced and click accept the risk and continue so your username will be root and the password is uh, the one you have generated uh, while signing up with uh, Contabo and just click sign in and just click next we will set up a uh, virtual min so when min and virtual min come together so I'll just uh, choose no and this one will be yes and if you, if uh, you want to enable your um, email so just um, check this one if you really want to use your email as your business email you can choose this one or if you don't just uh, choose this no email will be filtered so I'll be choosing yes because um, I will be um, setting up email so click next and for spam assassin I'll just uh, put it no and just click next I'll be choosing my DB and I will not be using post gray and so save this because this is your uh, MariaDB password so click next okay uh, we'll just skip this part so just click next uh, okay I will just uh, pick check this box here so that it will not uh, check because this has not this has no um, I records so just next so we will be configuring uh, optional features because it is still important so just click next so I will be storing um, hash password because it's uh, more secure and so this one is not really important as of now but once your web applications or any websites uh, gain traction your data database will increase but this one I'll just keep the system defaults and uh, because Kutabo has bigger uh, RAM, uh, we can just uh, use this uh, 2 gigabyte of RAM or 4 gigabyte of RAM, but don't use this one unless you will uh, scale your Kutabo. So I'll, for this uh, tutorial, I'll be just using the default. So just click next. And SSL certificates will be uh, stored in this uh, path. So we will add a virtual server. This will be our host name. So we'll just put CP here, this one. And of course, we'll just, uh, add let's encrypt certificates. So just click next. Great. Uh, just uh, click finish, and we will uh, use uh, this um, subdomain to access our virtual main on a webmin. Instead of using this IP address, we will be using our um, subdomain. So let's go to webmin. and click the system host name and we will use the 
subdomain and we'll just using our IP address for this uh, DNS servers and just click save and just apply configuration so great now uh, let's go to virtual me so now we have our system hosting here we will go to server configuration and click SSL certificate so go to let's encrypt and request a certificate but before that be sure you have uh, a records for this domain so go to your uh, domain register and add uh, a add to a records so we'll be using uh, namecheap because i have registered that domain on namecheap so now i'm here on my uh, domain re register and i will manage my domain just click manage well, we'll be using uh, basic dns and click advanced uh, dns and i have added to a records uh, this one and this one this one for non ww and this one for ww so now let's um request certificates for these two domains or other subdomains and be sure you also have added the the top like uh top level domain so at for an w and w4 uh, if you want to use w so uh, this four are very important so we um let's try to access our host name let's just click a uh, new tab so this one so this one um it we will use port because this is the host name we'll be using port so we'll add 10,000 port okay great now okay so log in with your uh, username and password now we are here on our dashboard with using our uh, subdomain as a uh, host name so there you are this is how you will uh, install and configure virtual mean along with webmin so they they come along together and next video i will be showing you how to install wordpress on virtual mean so if you'd like to install virtual mean and webmin i hope this video uh, will help you and if this video helps helps you uh, please like and also subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video on inst installing wordpress and creating our wordpress website bye for now